Hello everyone, we recently noticed that Ford Pass is having some issues connecting to newer vehicles equipped with the SYNC 4 infotainment system. So today, I want to go through a step-by-step -step guide to try and fix that issue on your own before bringing your vehicle into a Ford service department to be looked at. So we see there's a new 2021 Ford Edge added to this Ford Pass account. And if I try to hit activate, this message will happen. So it says activation is currently unavailable. Something is not right. Please try again later or contact a guide for help. And no matter how many times I hit it, it's going to pop up. A similar message will occur. If you try to hit this, it says activation pending. And then about five minutes or so will go by. And then that same activation error message will pop up. Now there's a few options available to you on the app itself. And then we need to move over to the sync for screen. And then finally to the vehicle itself. So we'll get to that in due time. But first you want to hop over to your Ford Pass app go into the vehicle tab and then all the way at the bottom of that it says remove vehicle so we're going to hit remove vehicle go back to the home screen add it back and then try to activate the vehicle if that does not work what we want to do is completely log out of ford pass by going into our account setting and then hit log out log back in try to activate the vehicle again if that does not work what we want to do finally on the phone is go and delete ford pass go to your app store download it again and then try and add the vehicle back and activate it so if those steps don't work, we need to move over to the Sync 4 screen. So to do that, and just to let everyone know, I'm in a new 2021 Ford F-150 equipped with the Sync 4 12-inch screen, but any of these settings will be the same for any other vehicle equipped with Sync 4. So the settings and options will be labeled exactly as they are here. So we wanna go into the settings menu, and then we wanna hop over to general, which should be on the first page. And at the very bottom of that menu, there's an option that says reset. So I'm gonna hit reset and there's two options that pop up. One is Ford Pass Connect Reset and the other is Master Reset. So I'm gonna hit Ford Pass Connect Reset first and then I'm gonna hit reset all. And all this does is reset the Ford Pass module in the vehicle itself. This might take to between two to three minutes. And once that is done, you can hop back over to Ford Pass, make sure that everything is entered into your app and then try to activate it again. If that does not work, what we wanna do is hop back to the previous menu go into master reset, hit that option, and we wanna hit continue. This will take between two to three minutes and your whole screen will go black and then restart. Hop back over to Ford Pass, try it again. If that does not work, what we wanted to go do is go back to the settings menu, hop over to the second page, and then find an option that says connectivity. So I'm going to hit connectivity and then hop into connected vehicle features. So in this, there's a couple of different options I need to make sure that are turned on. And if they are, we'll eventually turn off and then turn back on. So first you wanna see if the vehicle connectivity option is turned on, which it is in this one. Then there's the share vehicle data and then share vehicle analytics. So all three of those are lit up, which is great. So what we wanna do is hop over here to the top one, turn that off, that'll turn the rest of these off as well. Wait about 30 seconds to a minute, turn that back on, make sure that all of them are turned back on and then hop over to Ford Pass and try and activate your vehicle again. If that does not work, um, the final option on the vehicle itself, which actually translates over to going into the vehicle physically to try and fix something, is going over to your features and then hopping over to the owner's manual. Now the owner's manual can be found in a couple of different places depending on what vehicle you find, but more often than not, they're in the fe features tab of your vehicle. You wanna hit owner's manual, and once this loads, we wanna type in fuse. So we're trying to locate one of the fuse boxes and we're looking for the, it says identifying the fuses in the body control fuse box. So we're gonna find that and there should be a diagram and a list of different fuses. And what we're gonna do is find one that is labeled as sync. And depending on the vehicle, the fuse might also be labeled embedded modem. If you do have one that's labeled sync and embedded modem, I would pull both and then see if that fixes your problem. Um, although this might be a bit technical for some of you. so. This might be done by our service department here at Hoffman Ford or wherever you take your vehicle. So um, this is just an option if you wanted to actually go into the vehicle itself and pull a fuse. And your last actual option before ha you have to bring that vehicle in to a Ford store is going into the engine compartment and actually pulling the positive terminal or po positive cable rather off of the battery, waiting about 30 seconds to a minute, reconnecting it and then trying it again. So that'll do a hard reset on the vehicle itself. And hopefully one of those options will fix your issue for you. But if you have any other questions about Ford Pass or if you want a tutorial on how to fix some of the other issues involved with Ford vehicles or Ford Pass, please give us a comment below. And I uh, hope everyone has a great day and thank you for watching.